Well, hello there, my crypto bit brothers and sisters. How in the world are you? And Papa Ron, how are you doing? Ron, I am good, thank you. Yeah, I had to raise my camera up because we had a comment that says, uh, all I could see was tread on me. Well, <laughs> you know, being as old as I am, that's all I'm ever done is tread on. <laughs> Especially from kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, there's no respect anymore, not like I used to be. You know, I was telling my daughter, I was telling my daughter, there's a little girl across the street, I might have told you this. She uh, She comes over and she calls... My son-in-law, instead of Mr. Williams, she says, hey, Aaron, what's going on? You know, like, you know, when I, when I grew up and all my kids grew up, they were always taught Mr. Williams or Mr. Pranner or Mr. whatever or Mrs. last name to show respect. But I, I guess that's just a Southern thing. Since I've been here in Utah, I ain't seen anybody show anybody respect yeah. that way. I uh, I really pushed my kids to always say yes sir no sir right and I never I never told them a hey, no first names they're not your friends they're my friends and it's yeah so I'm with you on that it's just good good habit for these kids it's manners it's just manners and it teaches yeah. kids respect to your uh, point your point where that story is well we just don't get the respect. You know, okay. I'm 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 like old Rod, oh. uh, Rod, Rodney Dangerfield. No respect. Yeah, no that's respect. right. We're, we're still talking about treading on me. I get it now. I'm yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah, treading on me. Well, folks, we felt we better take a look at this Bitcoin Cash. It's um. Yes, we are too. You know, uh, our position has been in the past. It ain't that, worth uh, the shit. You know, no, oh, it ain't trying, worth the crap. It ain't <laughs> worth the crap. <laughs> we're trying to run a family show here. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> My mouth, I got to wash it out with soap, man. Well, it, so it, it's just like you just a second ago talked about your kids. It's all discipline. Yes, it is. And, and I ain't I'm got not it. mad, Rod. You can talk <laughs> at your age, you can talk any way you want. That's the but, way I feel. That's right. But the, pro but the problem is, YouTube don't like it. <laughs> So um, when when the, we had this hard fork, and I think it was back in August or something, and Bitcoin Cash forked off of Bitcoin. Yes. And um, there were some things they wanted to see on there, and maybe we'll get into that. But Rod and I always have felt that Bitcoin had such the infrastructure set up and such the name recognition that they would never catch up to Bitcoin as being a viable currency and, and a viable platform. And, um, God, I think that might, we're, we're second guessing our opinions. So we, we thought, eat our words. <laughs> it's time to take a look at this and see what they're doing and what's coming and, um, some of that. So, before we start, we're going to go over to CoinLib and, uh, find Bitcoin Cash. God, it's up to 1250 almost, Rod. Oh, but look at Bitcoin, it's up to 89. Yeah, but Bitcoin wow. Cash, I think, folks, a week ago was at six six hundred dollars or six something. It is it is more than doubled, I think, in the last week. Yeah, and yeah. I don't it's think good. Bitcoin has done that. <laughs> no. You can see the steep rise on the uh, on the graph, how much it's risen. Yeah, and this this is um, let's just look within the last thirty days on this, folks. And boy, look at the look at the volume that is poured into that rod. Matter of fact, wow. I, I had read that in the last seven days, also on Shapeshift. Now, folks, Shapeshift. If you don't know what that is, you can get on Shapeshift and say, "Hey, um, once you get on there, there's like two sides of the screen." You say, "All right, I want to take my Bitcoin," and you find the Bitcoin logo and get that Bitcoin. And on this side, I want to trade it for whatever coin you want to trade it for. Yeah. And in the last seven days, they said Bitcoin to Bitcoin Cash. There's been more swaps in that by far than anything else on there. Oh. Yeah. So, and maybe because the price was so low or, and they do have that fork coming up May 15th. They, yeah, they some do. of the articles are saying that people are prepping for that and mm -hmm. um, might make a difference on the price. So anyway, I, I thought that was kind of interesting too. 
And also, they have just picked up a massive amount of infrastructure and support. They have a great community going for them right now. Um, and uh, that's about it. No. <laughs> also, well, you paused. <laughs> I, I know because I, I had another thought there. Bitmain, folks. Bitmain is a big mining community and they have different pools within there and there's one that's called um ant pool and ant pool i saw a comment made by them this last friday and it says uh the bitcoin cash blockchain is at the tipping point of becoming a widely used public blockchain oh so they see this transaction. Now, Bitmain, though, which is a, this big mining operation that mines Bitcoin, I think they're partial to Bitcoin Cash uh, because the, the talk is that they feel Bitcoin Cash follows more closely what Satoshi Nagamoto wanted in a cryptocurrency, where Bitcoin is kind of a, uh, they feel swayed off the path. So the, the diehard core guys, I think, some of them like that Bitcoin cash. Yeah. Um, so that, that could be all well and said. And, and like I said, what we've read articles where there's a lot of ATM machines now that are upgrading to Bitcoin cash and some of that stuff. Um, oh, I wanted to go over to... Um, Here's their website, folks. And and here's something else that kind of proves the point that these guys aren't dinking around anymore, I guess. Of course, on their website, it kind of talks about what they're doing. You know, they're fast, reliable, low fees. Um, and, and we're going to get into some of the differences here. But best money in the world. This talks just briefly about their uh, May 15th hard fork. Some of the new features that are coming, but... Now, now look at this. There and the Bitcoin ABC. I think this is the uh, development team that they're using on the hard fork. Um, but look at look at how many wallets Rod support Bitcoin Cash. Wow, almost as much as Bitcoin. Huh? There and and these are a lot of a lot of name brand ones too in there. Yeah, yeah, there is. Um, here's a list of their services. Projects and and just about as many exchanges too wow, deal in Bitcoin Cash. I mean, these guys are on the map. Look at all those exchanges. Wow. These guys are really on the map. Um, so they're in this. Um, so anyway, I, I guess Rod and I are saying that. Um, it's something to look at. Rod, you're laughing like I am Stammy, and I am. So <laughs> let, let, <laughs> I had another point there. I know. Let's I get know. over to the hard fork. That's coming May okay. 15th. They got yes. Bitcoin ABC is the development team. Now, here's kind of the thing. Bitcoin Cash, um, I think right now they're at 8 megaton block size, megabit. And that was kind of the, the, the difference of their fork. They wanted to get away from Bitcoin's slower block size. And they wanted to go to the 8 megabit size. They feel they could put more transactions in there. It speed it up. The fees are better. But Bitcoin, instead of doing that, they took on a protocol called Segregated Witness or SegWit. And um, they adopted that into the uh, Bitcoin Platform and what it did, it actually split up the each transaction, um, and then I think it was the names of the transactions are in a separate block that rides along on the other one. So now they could get more transactions in each block, which would speed it up and reduce fees also. Yeah. So Bitcoin. Cash did not, or if they did take segregated witness on, they are getting rid of that protocol with this this hard fork coming up. Um, and here's the confusing part to me, and the, these are some of the things that 
that maybe some folks could add in the comments. As, I th as we correlate this into the future of crypto and digital currency, folks, we're under the impression that Lightning Network, which Bitcoin is in a beta with right now, and Litecoin, is the ticket to speeding up these transactions and minimal fees. And Lightning Network is not a change in the code within these platforms, but it actually kind of rides on top of it or alongside of it. And um, it, it can just increase the amount of transactions in the thousands and speed it up. And that's what Litecoin and Bitcoin are working on. And um, I thought... To make that work, you had to have segregated witness. Now, I looked that up before we got on the show today, and I think what I had found is it said, no, you don't need segregated witness to make Lightning Network work. But the other thing they're working on is this root stocks. It's like these sister chains that you can have. So if you got the main blockchain coming around, you got these sister chains, this root, root stock platform or protocol, will sub off and, and actually it'll be used for when we go totally digital. Rod, am I making sense oh. on this or not? Yeah, I mean, it's like a chain. It, it, it just hooks it together like that. It's yeah, but it, it, it instead of giving everybody their own um, address, address. Uh -huh. the sister chains, you can kind of put a whole company on one of those sister chains and have that hook up to the blockchain. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of confusing. There's not a lot written on it right now that I've seen. So anyway, I guess I'm still a little hesitant about futuristic. Is Bitcoin Cash really going to be viable to what's coming down the pike? Or now they're going to a 32 megaton size block, which they feel will definitely speed everything up, <laughs> cheaper transactions, Megabit, and um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not too tech savvy, but uh, <laughs> megaton. <laughs> so they feel that's the you answer. Me, yeah, man. <laughs> but if if Bitcoin Cash is writing on this protocol of bigger blocks and all that, and Litecoin and Bitcoin and Ethereum and everybody else is over here running on Lightning Network, I don't know how that's going to mesh mesh in for the future. I don't know. Um, so anyway, it's just it's just got me back and forth on which way we should go with this. Meaning, yeah, but you know, but you know, like you said though, Ron, th there's so much going on in the background. I'm sure they're probably hooking up, trying to hook up a way so everything will become uh, and that, compatible. That's a that's a great point, Rod. And that that could be exactly because um, I never heard about this root thing either until you just brought it up. Yeah, I've been reading a little bit about rootstock. It's it's above my pay grade, you know. It's over my head, but it, it's a platform out there. And um, again, there's a lot of things out there that are working on this infrastructure and putting things center stage. So when this thing's ready to roll forth, all the tools and platforms are in place to do so. Um, so it goes smoothly, and all the transactions run properly, and all that. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, you see little glimpses here and there. And yeah, I thought, you do. Well, that's interesting. So I try to follow it, and um, anyway, it's just kind of interesting. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, because you forget too much. <laughs> I do. That's exactly right. Matter of fact, I'm checking my notes right now to see what I've forgotten to talk about. We, I got comments all the time. Hey, get some little flashcards or something. And I say, yeah. But the problem is, is when I'm just talking off the cuff, and then I forget. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't have that written down. I'm just talking. Yeah. Um, off the cuff. And you've been always good about talking off the cuff. I got that gift of gab, don't I? You do. Whatever. Well, better than I got. <laughs> so, folks, we're we're um, we're really keeping an eye on this Bitcoin Cash. We think it yeah. could evolve in. It has evolved into something, but we want it to fit in with what everything else is going on too. Um, and and like Rod said, there might be some other things in the works right now that join all this together. 
I mean, this whole thing about atomic swaps and this lightning network to go cross-chain, you know, wallet to wallet, person to person. I mean, this, this is big stuff coming. And it'll uh, keep everything decentralized, which we're after, and keep you folks in control of your own financial destiny. That's right. No middleman in between. Um, yeah. Even though we are reliant on power and we're reliant on uh, the internet and this and that and our cell phones to keep all this running, but, but so is governments and so are banks. So to say that we're going to um, have a total internet collapse, uh, the government needs that too. So I don't know yeah. how that'll all work out. <coughs> so folks, do your own research. Um, Bitcoin Cash has got, you know, they're one of the coin bases on their new commerce plugin that, and there's a lot of people that are now taking Bitcoin Cash along with Bitcoin. So to see it moving up price wise, it's a good indication. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty exciting. It so is. May 15th, that hard fork where they're going to institute this new uh, 32 ABC. megabit blocks, and um, there's other things that are involved with that. I think it'll all be positive, and uh, maybe the price will keep going. Let's let's hope so. Yeah, let's hope ABC don't take away from that Bitcoin Cash. Well, no, they're more of a development team. They're more. Um, matter of fact, did I show the website, Rod? I don't they have know. a I website also. Yeah. And um, yeah. what is Bitcoin ABC? And if you click on here, um, learn more. This is about, there's some questions and answers if you want to look over about the hard fork coming up, folks. And it's just uh, bitcoinabc.org is the website. Check it out. Do some homework. The prices are still good. If you're looking to make another plunge into another coin or token, it might be worth looking at. Yeah, yeah. Just do your homework like Ron says, you know, and when we were talking about that root, Ron, you know, that root. Root stock? It, it, yeah, it reminded me of the Guardian, uh, the Guardians of, uh, what, what's the name of that show, that movie? Guardians of the Galaxy. That big tree, he goes, root. <laughs> as soon as you said that root thing, I, I, I popped up Can't in my know. brain. Isn't that weird? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that show. Root. No, oh, it's, it's, it's. It, best movie i've ever seen it's so funny all right folks we appreciate y'all coming through and ron does too we we love bringing these and, and give us a thumbs up please thumbs up we need it pound those thumbs up we need those thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell to let you know when we posted one and god bless <laughs>